Nightmares do not belong in the waking world. Oh, it turns out I fit right in. Norman Mailer famously called the, the comic strip, uh, or the graphic novel series, I should say, uh, a comic strip for intellectuals. Yeah. Uh, is, 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 the, is the series, uh, is, is this a fantasy series for intellectuals? I certainly think uh, smart people will be satisfied with it, but I think it's for everyone. What, what is beautiful about Sandman is it's about dreams, and whether you are someone's parent, or someone's child, or someone's friend, or someone's lover, or a minotaur, or a siren, the one thing that unites all of us is that we dream. And so I hope that it's for everyone. It's for fans of epic fantasies, right? It's in the, it is in that realm of, of Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings. There's so many characters, there's so many worlds, there's so many storylines. What is so amazing about TV and film and, and literally moving pictures is it, it's show, don't tell, right? So we're showing so many things, so it's, I think it becomes much more accessible. And it's so interesting, obviously, amongst us all, we've all been talking, like, you know, define Sandman, it's so hard. Like, what is the show, like, about? Like, kind of everything. Storytelling is so kind of vast, yet entirely human. It's, it's, it's very, it's just so, it's so big in those terms. It's got, you know, so many deep things that it ponders, um, so many existential questions. Um, it's not just for intellectuals, I think it can be for anyone. I think it's a very digestible series. It's just a great piece overall. Before this role, I wasn't that familiar with the work. I'd heard of Sandman, but I wasn't that familiar with it. And now being in it, reading the comics and having seen the show, I'm like, anyone can watch this. I think fans will be like, oh my god, this is amazing. But people who are new to it will be like, oh my god, this is incredible. Tell us what power of dreams your cast today from top to bottom has talked about how much they've appreciated your your position on social media defending them and just not taking any when it comes to the trolls it's so unusual and it's so refreshing to see um can you talk about sort of like what mo motivated you to just you know to just fire back at these people honestly i i, I know the rule is you're meant to ignore the trolls and not feed the trolls but i would look at people sounding off on Sandman, who obviously were not Sandman fans. What I would watch would be 60,000 Sandman fans going, oh my gosh, this is, of course you're doing it th this way. Of course you have a non-binary desire. Desire was always non-binary. That's brilliant casting. Or of course, Gwendolyn Velucifer, what amazing casting. Um, and then you'd get five or six people just trying to make a lot of fuss who never read Sandman in the first place. And I mostly desire, decided that I was done with it because I know how good these performances are. And I know what they're doing and I know why I cast them. And if anybody wants to give me about Kirby um, being cast as death, my only question for them is, well, what part of her audition didn't you like? Because I was there and I saw her audition. I know exactly. You may think you know why she was cast, but I know exactly why she was cast. I, I understand that people who have fell in love with something feel very attached to it. But I think the thing to remember is that, one, this is a fantasy. Uh, two, we are actors. We show up, we do the best job we can, and we hope that someone sees something in us and sees the way we can work together and, and, and cast us in those roles. I mean, Neil has spoken to this so much. He went through thousands of auditions for all of these roles, and then we were handpicked by the creator. So for me, I, I don't think I could say anything to the casting that Neil hasn't already said. As an actor in this, and Neil just having our backs and just believing in us and believing in this is just, um, makes it even more amazing. I wasn't even aware of any of this until a few weeks ago. Um, but I have to say, I wrote to Neil to thank him um, when I found out that he'd been standing up for us and trying to protect us. And I'm very moved by the love and responsibility he feels for his co-creators and I appreciate it with all of my heart I know we all do I mean Neil is a badass he's one you know he's one of the greatest living authors of all time and just the fact that we are adapting this in a time where he's not only 
completely ingrained in it and completely getting his DNA on every single frame of it, but that he can kind of clap back at people when they say certain things that actually aren't necessarily in line with the original, you know, context right. or maybe aren't in line with what Sandman is more about or what it represents in a greater, you know, world. Um, it's, it's really nice because you don't often get that. A lot of times, you know, people are, they just kind of, they're too busy to deal with the nonsense. Um, but he's hes one of the funniest people to follow on Twitter and just watch him troll people back. I, I get so much joy. Occasionally I do feel like I am taking an enormous sledgehammer to squash the tiniest ants, and you really shouldn't. But then again, um, they can be really irritating sometimes, and I want to, and I'm proud of what we made.